Now this is unbelievable. Dell has just announced the most powerful gaming laptop and it's not just powerful at the moment. It is also capable of being the most powerful after a while, even after a year. How is that possible? Uh, wouldn't there be new laptops with better specs before next year? Yes, you are right. But looks like someone has found a solution to it. Let's talk all about it in this video. Before that, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Sundar. This is Technology Job. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for quality tech content. Now, a little background info before we get into the main subject. Gaming laptops don't offer as much value for your money as gaming desktops do. And I'm not just talking about the specs. Specs is a completely different thing. For example, I bought this PC in 2014. Yep, it's pretty old. It's got a fourth generation Core i7 16GB DDR3 RAM, AMD R9280X GPU, which is kinda equivalent to Nvidia's GTX 960. It costed me around 75,000 rupees to build the PC. Even if you include my monitor, speakers, keyboard and mouse, it comes to around 1,5,000 or 1,10,000. Now, in 2014, if I wanted a gaming laptop with the same specifications, I would have had to spend at least 1,50,000 or even more. And remember, the speakers wouldn't be uh, even 10% as good as these. The keyboard won't be as comfortable and you need to buy a gaming mouse separately anyway. So the only reason you spend so much on a gaming laptop is mainly for portability, not just the specs. Now what I'm trying to say here is, even if desktops and laptops costed the same, I would still say desktops offer more value for your money. The reason? You can upgrade. You can upgrade the CPU if the motherboard socket supports the new processor. You can upgrade the GPU. You can upgrade or change literally any component you want. When I built this PC, I had installed only 8 GB of RAM and it did not have any graphics card. Later only, I installed on another 8 GB RAM and the R9280X graphics card. I can upgrade to a GTX 1060 now. So upgrading is possible without having to dispose the whole system and buy a new one altogether. But sadly, that's not the case with laptops. It's not entirely impossible. You can upgrade RAM if there's a free slot inside. You can install an SSD if there's a free M.2 SSD slot or whatever. Uh, but processors and graphics cards, you can't upgrade. And sadly, those two things are the most important for any gaming PC. They are also the only two components that age really quick. To tackle this situation, brands started coming up with GPU docks. You can literally buy a graphics card, put it in the dock and connect, it, and connect the dock to the laptop. Of course, it wasn't the most efficient solution, but it wasn't as bad as desktop PCs for portability. And another limitation, it only works if you connect it to the Thunderbolt 3 port. So if your laptop doesn't have that port, external GPUs don't work. But now at CES, Dell has come up with an amazing concept. I mean, it's not even a concept, it's going on sale at the end of January. So they announced a new gaming laptop in their popular Alienware series called the Area 51M. For starters, the top end variant is already the most powerful gaming laptop available in the market. It comes with 9th gen Core i9-9900K processor, so it's a K processor, so it's unlocked. Uh, you can overclock it. The latest RTX 2080 GPU from Nvidia and 64 GB RAM. And they are all built in a way you can remove them and install better components in future. Usually if you disassemble a laptop, you might be able to see the processor and graphics card, but you won't be able to discard them. I mean, you can, but that's called breaking. <laughs> so apart from that, there is no other way. But on the Area 51M, there are actual sockets. You can easily remove the processor or graphics card and install a new one. How cool is that? Also, this is the first ever laptop in which you can overclock the graphics card. You can also overclock RAM and processor in addition. Uh, this is truly a powerhouse. Now, I thought the laptop would be heavier than usual, but I just checked the previous Alienware version and compared the weights. It's not all that different. It's pretty much the same, in fact. So a huge props to Dell for achieving this. I'm not saying it's perfect because putting a desktop class processor in a laptop will definitely cause heating issues 
and Dell hasn't explicitly mentioned anything about the cooling solution in the laptop. Moreover, upgrading is possible, but it's not as easy as just getting a new graphics card and swapping the old one. Because the ones that you can buy from stores are all desktop GPUs, they can't be used in laptops. So a third party brand should come up with a version of GPUs that's supported by this laptop. There is no info on that yet. Dell themselves built their own GPU, so maybe they'll do that, but they didn't promise anything during the launch of this laptop, so I highly doubt it. So yeah, these are some limitations or restrictions, but for a first time, this work is super impressive. The price starts from around $2,500. Dell said some cheaper models will be announced soon. Even those won't be cheap or affordable by any means, uh, in my opinion. So yeah, while I'm not really excited for the laptop itself, I'm excited about the concept, about the new technology. Now, this will instigate other brands to come up with better versions of modularity, and maybe one of them is affordable enough for us to get our hands on. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, so yeah, that's the game changer. Uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. If you learned something new from this video, subscribe to Technology Jock and hit the bell icon for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. This is Sundar leaving for the moment. Have a great day.